Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt says his government will continue to provide the St. Joseph community with the necessities to deal with some of its problems. He was addressing the ceremony of the 19th inaugural meeting of the St. Joseph Village Council this week. Mr. Skerritt told villagers that they should pay special attention to the young and elderly in Dominica. These are groups of our citizens that we cannot neglect at all. So while the roads are fine and while the structures are fine, let us pay particular attention to the human aspect of development. We need to ensure that while every child has a space at a secondary school, but every child must go through the full five years of secondary school and not drop out in second form or first form. Because in this new world, where the entire world has become a small village, we have to ensure that our children are equipped to deal with the challenges that this globalized world, this very difficult world, has provided to us. The Prime Minister says Dominica should be proactive and ensure that monies spent by government are appreciated. Because we are operating now, my dear friends, in a very difficult and challenging economic situation. And while we in Dominica, because in large measure of our strong fiscal policies and the measures we took between 2004 and 2006 in particular, we have not been affected as others. It doesn't mean that we have to go about our business as if nothing is wrong with the rest of the world. Because if we do not take proactive action, we will find ourselves in similar difficulties. And therefore, we have to do more with the dollar that we have. We have to help and to ensure that when the government spends money in a community, that we appreciate it and we take care of it as if it was ourselves who spend the money in the community. We have to embark on fundraising activities in St. Joseph, sporting activities, to ensure that our people live in a healthy atmosphere and community and environment. We have the SUK program, but the SUK program is not to replace the responsibilities of families. Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt. Two Portsmouth men will spend four years and three months at the Stock Farm prisons. Would they be in default of payment of fines for human trafficking? Police Public Relations Officer Inspector Claude Wiggs has more. Clive Joseph and Francis George pleaded guilty to the offense of human trafficking when they appeared before a Rosso magistrate on Friday 9th April. Clive Joseph was fined $20,000, 5000 to be paid by 15 June 2010 or one year, the balance of $15,000 to be paid by March 2011 or another one year and a half in jail. Meanwhile, his colleague Francis George was fined $10,000 of which 3000 must be paid by 15th June 2010 or nine months in prison and the balance of 7000 by March 2011 or another year in jail. Both men were intercepted by Coast Guard personnel six miles southwest of Scotshead on a go-fast boat called Precious Sasha heading to Matanik with 10 Haitians on board. And our thanks to Inspector Claude Wiggs for that report. Parliamentary representative for Wesley, Gloria Schillingford, says Dominica can boast of 100 years of local governance. She was addressing the 19th inaugural meeting of the St. Joseph Village Council this week. According to Shillingford, over the years, much reform of local governance has taken place and work is still ongoing. The objective of these reform measures has always been to empower people at a community level to be responsible for their own development. That is, to participate in decision making and the implementation and execution of programs and projects designed for the development of their communities. Of course, this is not to say that the governance of the communities is to be left solely to the hands of the councils. Indeed not. And you heard much about it from your now chairman and also your parliament. The Ministry of Social Services, Community Development and Gender Affairs, through the decision of local government and community development, has a well-structured system designed to oversee, assist, and regulate the activities of the 42 local authorities around the country. 
parliamentary representative for Wesley, Gloria Shillingford. Dominica could soon be the host country for a three-day regional course for fishermen when the Dominica Fisheries Division conducts its 16th basic fishermen's training course next month. This year's fishermen's training course will take place from the 10th to the 14th of May and is aimed at targeting new prospective fishers. Fisheries officer at the Fisheries Division, Norman Norris, says Dominica is the only country in the region with a full-time entrance course in the fisheries sector. This program is different this year in that it's a regional course, meaning that we have um, parti- we will have participation from fisheries officers. We have invited seven, six or seven OECS sister countries to participate in the program. The idea is that Dominica is the is probably the only country that has a full time entrance course into the fisheries sector. The other countries haven't got a, a system like what we have, which is a one week full time program for new entrants. And um, we have invited the sister countries, and we have received confirmation some of the countries so far and then we're waiting the others. Um, it is also expected that the, the outcome, one of the outcomes of the program is that, from the original program, is that um, the participants will prepare a draft program or concept paper on the introduction of um, a fisherman entrance program in their specific countries because they have individual programs but not like a, a mandatory program in order to enter, to enter the fishery sector. So this is really unique with Dominica. And, um, Mr. Norris says over 300 fishermen would be cheap. Mr. Norris says over 300 fishermen have been trained over the last five years. He says officials at the Fisheries Division are elated to be hosting the regional event. We're very proud because the BFTC is really our flagship training program in the Fisheries Division in Dominica. And in the last five years, it has really made a difference for, for our fishers, persons who, who before you know, did not require or were not mandated to do an entrance course have now found it much beneficial for them to, to participate in this program than to just receive a card and, um, and begin fishing like what was, what was done before. So we have trained over 300 persons within the last five years and it's a program that we run um, almost every quarter. It covers various modules that, that are an important component of general um, fishermen training and understanding the, um, the, the specific needs and requirements of the industry. Um, in the program, we generally cover general classification of fishing gear and, f- and, and fishing methods. We also look at fish behavior. We cover other things like um, FADs, which is fish aggregation devices, which is now um, landing at least over 50% of our, of our pelagic fisheries resources. We also, in, this, in, the, in the program, cover national fish production trends and the potential, advising you as to what particular areas of the industry that you can enter in order to get the maximum benefits. Fisheries Officer at the Fisheries Division, Norman Norris. Guyana is urging Caribbean countries to form closer ties with Brazil ahead of the CARICOM Brazil Summit in Rio de Janeiro later this month. The government spokesman in Georgetown, Roger Luncheon, says the region could benefit from numerous trade opportunities by working with the South American country. Dr. Luncheon says a number of important initiatives aimed at fostering closer relations between Brazil and the Caribbean and among the countries of South America have been implemented. And Pope Benedict XVI has become embroiled in new revelations over child sexual abuse over a letter he is said to have signed in 1985 before he became Pope. The Associated Press said it had obtained the letter signed by Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger resisting the defrocking of an offending priest. The AP News said the Vatican had confirmed the Cardinal's signature on the letter. However, it quoted Vatican spokesman Reverend Federico Lombardi as saying, It was not strange that there are single documents which have Cardinal Ratzinger's signature. Now for a quick look at sports compliments Domlek and Digicel. Dolphins from Scott's Head will come up against one of their main rivals in Grand Bay in Zone A of the Mackison Stout Domino League this weekend. Here's Delvin Esprit with the details. In other matches, that that from Grand Bay will travel to St. Joseph to play travelers, big them all will host fans to, and rockers from Tables will travel to Salisbury to play rockers from Salisbury. And in Zone B, newcomers, gladiators from Sufriere, will travel to Rizzo Civic to play Dr. Mark Rangers. Lava will host Layu, Yadi Boys travel to Woodruff to play Sting, and Metrics from Bathurst will host Rebels from Concoli. Delvin Esprit reporting for Kyrie FM Sports. And all thanks to Delvin Esprit. That takes us to the end of the morning news and sports. I'm Steve Vidal. Pleasant weekend.